Hey there, welcome to your Shopify SEO optimization and Shopify store rank course. Today we are going to learn more about Shopify SEO that help your website to rank in search engine like Google or Bing. And in this lesson we are going to learn about technical SEO. So here is the all checklist of technical SEO and we are going to start with ensure your website is mobile friendly it's very important so how we can ensure or check our website is it mobile friendly or not that's mean is your website responsive or not so there is universal or common system to check your website with your smartphone also you can check your website with your computer is it mobile friendly or not so i'm going to open my browser and here is my website you can see that i am on the desktop version right now i'm going to click on the right button of my mouse then inspect and you can see that there is an icon called trugal device toolbar click on this icon and you can see there is a mobile version of this website and now we can check our website is it mobile friendly or not so i can see that our website is perfectly work on mobile version and it's fully responsive and uh, mobile friendly also you can check with different device size like iphone xr or iphone SE or Samsung Galaxy Pixel 5. So I hope you understand how you can check your website to know the mobile friendly or responsiveness. Then you have to check your site loading speed. That is most important things to rank your website in search engine. So how you can check your website loading is there are a lot of tools that help you to know your website is free fully free the most popular tools is page speed insight by google so i'm going to open page speed insight ping dong tools and gt matrix so these three tools or these three ways that is most popular website where you can check your website loading speed so first i'm going to check my website loading speed by google page speed insight so click on this analyze button so you can see that our website speed on mobile device is so bad and the speed index time 14 seconds that is very very bad for seo so we have to increase the speed of our website in mobile also you can check our website desktop speed it's look on average not bad and speed index 3.6 second so we can improve it minimum 90 plus and on mobile we also have to make it speed within the three second or maximum five second for mobile and for desktop max three second okay so you can see that our website is not so fast so we have to work on our website speed increasing so we have to work to speed increase in our website also we are going to check our website speed by other tools like uh, pingdom.com star test And on Pingdom result is load time 2.80 second. Also, we are going to check our website with gtmatrix.com. So click on the text your site.
in GT Matrix, the voice set performance is good but not best or so bad. So we'll get the total idea and we are in here and we understand that our voice set must have to more speed up and increase the speed limit. So we have noted this tax that is very important that we have to speed up our, our voice set and we'll do the speed optimization in the future lesson or the next lesson but uh, we are just going to testing our voice site and we are will do continue work on our voice site to rank it fast and fix everything that will help to rank it fast okay so what is next the next things is that make sure you are using https this is also important things for your voice site so the Good news is that when you start your business with Shopify, then Shopify by default include the SSL certificate or add HTTPS on your domain or on your website. You can see that our website is including HTTPS. So it's the default feature of Shopify. So don't worry about that. You can easily ignore this checklist because it's done by shopify automatically then find and fix coverall error that we have done in the previous lesson just find will fix in the future lesson then check page dipped then check for duplicate version of your website our website don't have any duplicate version because we don't add any duplicate version then identify and fix the broken link use an SEO friendly URL structure we already do some SEO work on our pages but we learn about SEO friendly structure or SEO friendly URL structure in the product page or when we do SEO on the each product then we can learn more about the SEO friendly URL structure you can keep note about website speed increase SEO friendly URL structure fix the crowdal error and fix the broken link we'll do this in the future or next lesson one by one then check canonical tag and add structured data so here all the things that we will do in the future lesson and today we have learned just how to test our website mobile friendly or responsiveness and uh, test our website so we'll see you in the next lesson i hope you understand everything what we have to do in the future and the upcoming lesson will be more important for your store so if you are very serious about your website to rank fast you have to continue watch my upcoming lesson so thank you for your time to join in this lesson we'll see you in the next lesson have a nice day bye bye hey there welcome to you in my youtube channel and i am faisal ahmed so if you're looking any shopify expert or digital marketer or website designer to make your website using wordpress shopify do the wix or any other space builder then you can contact with me also i'm working as a seo expert so you can consider me your next project i am available to start your project so if you need fast delivery with high quality support or service then you can consider have a nice day bye bye